what is going on, people? Day number 18 of the 31 Days Half October series, which I'm doing on this channel, is upon us. Uh, for those of you who don't know what that is, it's my take on the 31 Days of Horror, 31 Days of Halloween, whatever call, whatever you know, people are calling it, whatever you call it. Um, that is my my name for it. Uh, for those of you who don't know what it is, it's pretty much, or it is, um, where me and a bunch of people, a whole bunch of people are doing it, I'll get into it, but uh, you're going to get a horror movie review for every day of the month of October, so 31 days, 31 reviews. Uh, for those of you who enjoy horror movies all year round, maybe you'll find some movies to add to your you know, watch list soon. If you watch only horror movies, only in October then you'll probably have enough movies for years on end because like I said I'm not the only one doing it there's a whole bunch of people doing it so if you're looking for new movies to watch just check everybody else out um, <clears throat> before I get into uh, today's video or today's review if you haven't already hit that subscribe button hit that like button if you enjoy the review hit that bell button so you know when I do upload more stuff technically you don't have to do it this month because I'll be doing a review every day but for future reference, in case I do reviews or unboxings or anything like that, if you hit the bell button, you'll know when I do more stuff. And, I don't know, comment and share and stuff helps the uh, videos grow. So anyway, I call it the 31 Days Half October series because I do it a little bit different. I try to do more independent uh, movies, and I try to do them in alphabetical order. If I don't have a movie for that letter, I'll pivot and try something different. Most... Most of the time, I'll, I'll you know get in alphabetical order, and if it's if I don't have anything independent at that point in time, I'll just pick a movie of my you know childhood or something. But anyway, uh, today we are on the letter N. Uh, this is another horror comedy, so I guess you could say most of the movies I've done so far are are horror comedies. Uh, but this one has been put out by Vinegar Syndrome. Uh, it is called. Nightmare Sisters. Uh, this one came out in 1988, I believe. Uh, it is directed by David D. Kane 2. It's written by Kenneth J. Hall. It stars icons in the horror movie genre or screen queens. Uh, Linnea Quigley, Brink Stevens, Michelle Bauer, uh, among others. So pretty much what this is, is it's a group of um, sorority sisters and pretty much what they um, what they lack is uh, pretty much everything. They're pretty much dorks at this point in time. Uh, you know, they don't have boyfriends. They don't have anything. They're in a, I guess it's a sorority. Um, but pretty much they're the dorks of this college. So what they plan on doing is throwing a seance and kind of becoming... Um, I believe it's like vampires that they want to become or something. They hold this seance and then they go from the dorks to these like vixens that are now possessed with whatever they brought into them at that point in time. Uh, that's pretty much what it is. I don't want to go way too deep into it. But let's just say in this one, uh, you get a whole bunch of the 80s tropes at that point in time. Goofiness, cheesiness got a whole lot of nudity in this so if you want to see some uh naked girls this one's definitely up your alley i guess uh because i popped it in for the first time in a long time and i'm like okay pretty much half the movie these girls are pretty much naked so anyway uh now it's a group of guys there was three to begin with it's they're kind of like people they're talking to in one of the i guess lower versions of uh, a frat or whatever, like the dork frat. And then you get these other guys that are like the hunks and they catch everything going on and then they all of a sudden see naked girls. So now they end up in going into this sorority house or whatever and let's just say they might not make it out. There's so much stuff going on. between It's, it's all over the place. Don't want to get way too deep into it, but just know that <clears throat> it's just all over the top craziness and like I said nudity galore and stuff like that so uh, I know you know the 80s are full of it uh, like pretty much I think almost every single movie in the 80s at one point in time checked off every freaking box nudity a little gore uh, goofiness and stuff like that I think almost every 80s horror movie that was put out uh, had that um, 
that criteria, I guess you want to call it. Uh, but this one's definitely a fun one. Like I said, it stars, you know, the Scream Queen legends, Linnea Quigley and Brink Stevens. And like I said, uh, Michelle Bauer as well. I don't know her as much, uh, but I do know Linnea Quigley and um, Brink Stevens. They've been in so much. I think Vinegar Syndrome has at least, like, um, that I know of, like, four movies that uh, Linnea Quigley was in. Um this included, and there's a few other ones, but Brink Stevens, I know, is in a lot, too, put out by Vinegar Syndrome. Uh, but, yeah, I, what I do for all my reviews is I'll leave a link for the trailer so you can check it out. I'll leave a uh, link to where you can purchase it. I believe the only place... I don't think you can purchase this uh, slipcover anymore. I believe it's out of print. But they do have the, uh, the Nightmare Sisters, um, uh, just a regular Blu-ray. Uh, but then I do believe, uh, no, actually it doesn't. I thought I had a, uh, you know, reversible cover art because, uh, Vinegar Syndrome does that a lot. But if you get the, uh, Blu-ray, it comes with a whole bunch of different things. Um, director's interaction, TV spots, interviews, bloopers. Uh, re it says reversible cover art, but I don't believe that's, um... I don't think you can use that as reversible cover art and then English subtitle and a whole bunch. So with Vinegar Syndrome, they put out a whole bunch of um, whole bunch of like special features and stuff. So I'll leave the link to where you can purchase it as well. Also in the description, like I said, there's a whole bunch of people doing some kind of 31 days. So if you've seen this movie before or it might not be up your alley or all uh, 17 other reviews that I've done so far, you might not want to check out. Go ahead, I'll leave everybody else's link who's doing some kind of uh, 31 Days, uh, 13th Wolfman, Super Retro Throwback Reviews, Torch the Fennekin, uh, I Am Ice Lord, Retro Horror. There's so many people doing, like I said, some kind of take on the 31 Days. So you'll have horror movies to watch for now till 10 years from now, especially if you're one to uh, only watch scary movies in October. And there's at least... 15, 20 people that I have listed. So you have movies to watch for years on end, like I said. But uh, check the description for everything I talk about. Also, I'll leave the links to all my other social media. I got a Facebook fan page. I got a Twitter. I got an Instagram where I show off the movies behind me. I'm, I have a TikTok. I'm trying to get it back. Who knows? If, if I don't get it back, I might just give up on that. Uh, we have a, a Wicked Horror Show. Uh, that's a podcast that I do every Tuesday night, 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on Facebook and YouTube. We talk to independent actors, actresses, directors, uh, producers, whatever have you. Anything in independent horror we'll have on our podcast. If we don't have a guest, we'll have a, a horror movie talk, horror movie chat about movies that might be coming out or what's new in horror, or anything like that. So check out the Wicked Horror Show, uh, like I said, live on Tuesdays, and then we pull the audio uh, for the week later. It's on the Dorkening Podcast Network, uh, so if you're more of an audio podcast listener, you can find us there. And we have an Instagram page, Wicked Horror Show, so find us there. Tomorrow night, we will have a few people from the movie uh, Dead Drop Gorgeous, which is coming out, I believe, soon. It's either out or coming out. I have to figure it out uh but yeah uh check out nightmare sisters check out everything else i've talked about in these last uh 17 days before this almost done with the month it's crazy long month but fun month and uh just check the description for everything i talk about so i guess until tomorrow i'll see you guys